Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss the Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers and therefore worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. succeed in this year's aces competition we'll need to learn who we're flying against what they keep the flight roster a secret correct in years past competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight i get it so now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with precisely looks like you're a good pilot but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster is hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. Dig, don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Boot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. You talk, and the secret stays between us. I am a thief, after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. Okay, Dimitri, hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. <laughs> I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Now. We all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hygiene. <laughs> like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes! Or when Team Iceland sawed the landing gear off Korea's planes! <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine! Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more! You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions! This will be a fair competition! Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles, eh? <laughs> they don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. Once outside, things will get dangerous. Careful, 
partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty, and it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. The competition starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? Asleep? Watching TV? I bother paying them at all. They're going to lounge about like common tourists. <laughs> Nope, sorry. Just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. against us. 
In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then flab the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogram handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. <laughs>